Hello and welcome back to The Note. I'm still at the World Bank meetings in Lima, Peru, where, as you can see, I'm with some of our Inca hosts. Now, the big topic for today has been what is called the infrastructure gap and how to close it. That gap is the critical need for infrastructure across not just the emerging world, which is the main focus here, but even the developed world. The US has a serious problem with a lot of infrastructure which hasn't been updated since uh, Eisenhower or even FDR. There is a need for this. It is a critical component to allow many people who are currently excluded from the world economy to join it. There is also, in an era of very low rates, a great demand by many institutional investors to find something new to invest in. You would think infrastructure would be that, but it isn't, generally speaking, happening. Private sector investment in infrastructure isn't rising. Why not? Now, I've chaired a couple of panels on this today. There's plenty of arguments about it, but I think the critical points are that it's not just about the money, although certainly private sector demands to start slapping a, a price, a cost on something like a road uh, or energy that people have been used to getting for free come up with understandable political opposition. It's about softer problems. The uh, private sector wants to see that projects are actually ready to go when they arrive, that they have been thought through, that it's clear that they're going to last for a long time. There is also the critical problem that infrastructure investment needs to be come up with all up front. That is a big problem for many uh, big investors to overcome. Finally, as ever, there is the softer issue again of institutions. They need to know that there will be recourse to bankruptcy courts, that there will be a recourse to justice if something goes wrong. In many emerging jurisdictions, that isn't the case. That is, in many ways, why emerging markets are still generally categorized as different from developed markets. Now, it's obvious, coming to this meeting and hearing lots of people talking about it, that a lot of people grasp what the problem is and want to deal with it. The critical question now, many of those investors who really would like to invest in infrastructure, it's a very interesting asset class that could really help many portfolios. The critical question now is whether the talk here at the Convention Centre will actually be converted into action.